Hi I'm Jack the Greek and welcome back for another one of my cooking videos. Today we've got some beautiful free range chicken breasts from Betty and Dimitri from Preston Market at Preston Free Range Poultry and Game. And we're gonna thank our friends there today. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make it with some stuffed spinaki and feta. Yes, spinach and feta stuffed breast fillets all cooked on the Crossroad barbecue. And we're gonna complement it with a beautiful thing we're gonna do is get our breast fillets ready. So let's bring them up here just on our board. Beautiful, here we are. So beautiful free range breast fillets. And we'll just put that aside and there we are. Bring our board a bit closer. And what we want to do is grab, the bigger pieces we can grab, the better. So what we'll do is, and I'll show you how to cut them up first. You want to cut them, you know, flatten it out a bit. I like to use the skin on with my breast. It comes nice and crispy and it holds some of the juices in as well and it doesn't dry up. I put my hand on the outside and I grab a sharp knife and I just prick it and I start just cutting slowly. I don't go all the way in, I just cut just like this. So I want to make sure that I don't pierce any holes at the bottom and of course I don't want to go too far as well. So there we go, so we'll cut it just like that and we'll keep going all the way through. You can see how it's gently, and I like doing it slowly, cut it all the way through. There we go, there we go, beautiful. See. And we'll keep cutting, opening it up, just like this, until we have a nice pocket where we can put our beautiful spinach. There we go. So we'll do a few more, and we'll come back, and I'll show you how to make the mix. So we're up to our last one now, and we're just going to cut it all the way through, just like that. As you can see, I'm putting a little bit of weight on top, just so I can feel it. And there you go. Look at that. What a beautiful pocket that is. So we have our four breast fillets. Let's just put them just here in front of us for now. One, two, three, four. Then let's just grab a bowl and let's start our, our mix. We're gonna grab some spinach, just like that. And we'll put it in there. And we'll grab some feta. And you might be asking why I'm cooking this meal today. Well, I was looking for leftovers in the fridge. And I found some feta that had probably a couple days to go. I had some spinach that was left. And I had a couple of tomatoes, some red onion, and of course, a cucumber. So you can see, it's nearly time to go shopping again for the, for the Jack the Greek family. So what we'll do is, is we've got our two main ingredients. We'll put a bit of olive oil as well to moisten it up. We'll put a little bit of pepper, just like that. Beautiful. And, of course, a little bit of salt. Not too much, because the feta is very salty. And then we just want to mix that up. Just like squash it, and mix that up. And what will happen is the spinach will break down as well. It will soften up, and it will become like a one big ball of just spinach and feta. Similar to spanakopita. As you can see, it's nearly become into a, like a paste. The spinach, the spinaki and the feta. You don't want it too moist or too wet because then it will drip out of your, of your chicken breast. We're gonna cook the chicken breast for about three or four minutes on either side. And that's all it's gonna to need to warm up the feta and the spinach and of course cook the chicken all the way through. I'm gonna add a little bit of onion as well and I've chopped it up very fine, just like that as well. That's probably enough. And we'll put that in as well. And we'll quickly mix it. You can add some daphne, you could add yours more. You could add parsley, you could add some chili, you can add anything you like. It's really up to you, but I'm gonna keep it a little bit simple. Feta, spanagi, and a bit of onion. Another good ingredient might be egg, just to keep it together, but not for today. So there we have it. Now we've got our, our beautiful mix as well. Let's bring it in close and start stuffing our chicken breast. So let me show you now how we're going to stuff our beautiful free range breast. Before we do that, let's have a look at our cross grain barbecue. We've got two burners on today on high and it's sitting at about 250 degrees. That's perfect. We don't want all four burners on today. We're only cooking a small meal. So one more ingredient we're going to put on top is oregano, but we'll do that right at the end. First things first is let's use the stuffing. So there we are. We'll grab a spoon and just put it in like that. Push it through as much as you like. 
You don't want to put too much because you want to be able to seal them with some little chopsticks or some little sticks. Or if you want and you've got the appetite, you can also sew it up. And that's how you put them in, just like this. With a spoon, paste it in, hold it with one hand, and push it all the way through. I'll keep going now with the other two as well. Okay, so nearly finished. And we have just enough for our fourth chicken breast as well. That's perfect, no wastage. So all up, I probably had about 250 grams of feta, a cup of spanaki, and probably a couple of tablespoons of onion for four breasts. And now our little sticks, or our toothpicks, are gonna come into use now. And we're gonna get them ready too. And here we have it. So we'll grab our toothpicks, just like this. My hands are still a little bit dirty. And we'll get a few out. There we go. And we'll just put a couple of toothpicks just to hold it together. Just like that. We don't need too many. Just one or two. Help us. And here we have some beautiful feta and spinach stuffed chicken breast. Cooked within, you know, it's going to take, mm, beautiful. It's about five minutes to cook. And all provided from our friends at Preston Free Range Poultry and Game. Quick, easy meal. You can have it at night. And there's your digani, just like this. I don't want to take up too much of your time, so I'm going to make the others in a minute. But that's how I would prepare each one of the beautiful chicken breast, just like that. Three sticks on either side, one either side and one in the middle to hold it together. There we go. Nice and easy. One on this side. And like I said, if you want, you've got a bit more time, you can also stitch up your chicken breast with a needle and string. There we go. And here's the second one. Beautiful. Plenty of oregano on top. Turn it over, put it on the bottom, and there we go. So what we'll do now is we'll finish the next two and then put it onto the crossfade barbecue. Opa. So we're nearly there. Here's the last one now. And I'm going to thread them a little bit differently the last two so I really want to see how they're gonna perform under two different types of stitching you can see it's coming out a little bit but that's okay and we're gonna thread it just like this whereas the other ones we had them just poked them through like that and we'll see how they turn out now on the crossroad barbecue three minutes either side we'll just put them on a bus just like that the other two need a little bit of oregano as well. Put that on, just like this. Beautiful. It's got a bit of a hole there, but that's okay, because it will seal. As soon as I put on the bottom, I put it facing down, it will seal. And we won't have any leakage. There we go. Beautiful. We'll leave them like that, with the hood down, three or four minutes, and then we'll turn them over another three or four minutes before we plate them up with our Greek salad. Okay. You're back with Jack the Greek. It's been around three and a half minutes. Coming close and let's have a look to see how our beautiful stuffed feta spinach breast is going. Let's have a look. Beautiful. Look at that. Let's have a look underneath. Opa. So you can see that it's starting to come through halfway. So what we're going to do is turn it over just like that. Beautiful. We want to keep it juicy. We don't want to overcook it and dry up the breast. And while we are getting it ready, and while we're cooking it now for another three and a half minutes, what we're going to do is prepare our Greek salad. So let's come back, back over here. So we've got our bowl, keeping it very simple, our tomates, straight in. Oh, and you can argue and say there's one left behind. Or you can cut them up a little bit smaller, and why not? Let's just cut them in half. You can do anything you like with your Greek salad. So we'll cut half of them up, leave half of them. Oh, we're going to add a bit of olive oil. A bit of Greek vinegar. And again, these are all the leftovers that were sitting in the fridge. And it is school holidays, and we thought, what can we cook? So a quick trip down to Preston Market to our friends Betty and Dimitri. 
Here's our cucumber to get our to get our um, our chicken breast and the rest of the ingredients. We're all out of the fridge. Red onion, if you want, you can use white onion as well. A few feta, uh, feta, a few pieces of um, uh, olives on top as well, and we'll start mixing it. And of course, we can't forget we're going to have some feta, but I'm not going to put feta in my salad today. You're going to ask why? Well, there's so much feta in that chicken breast. That will be enough and it will, will complement our salad. A bit of olive oil as well. I can hear it. It's smoking up. It's all cooking beautifully. We, don't, we need a bit of salt because we're not going to have feta. Put that in like this. Beautiful. Grab our olives. Throw them in. Just like that. How many? Five, six, seven? Really depends. And there we go. Just give that a bit of a mix. And there you have it. Beautiful Greek traditional salad. Of course, depends on what part of Greece you come from, or Cyprus, you'll call a traditional salad something that could be made from many other ingredients as well. So, we'll wait a couple of minutes and we'll get our plate ready for our beautiful feta and spinach chicken breast. Bye bye. It's been around four minutes now since we've been cooking our beautiful breast fillets stuffed with spinach and feta. We've turned them over on both sides and as you can see, that's the bottom and the skin's on top. So what we'll do is, is we'll just put them here and we're going to let them rest for a couple of minutes before we take the two picks out and also slice one of them in half to see actually what it looks like. So there they are. We'll turn up our crossway barbecue. We'll let them sit for a couple of minutes. And while we're there, give our beautiful salad just another turn to marinate before we plate it all up. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Give it a minute and we'll be back. It's been a couple of minutes. We've let our chicken rest. We don't want to let it rest too much because we want to make sure we still let it warm. So we're going to have two pieces we'll put up in this plate. We'll put these two aside and we'll plate up with these. So we'll get at the sticks, take that one stick there and that's about it. And there's one here as well. Look at that, beautiful. Look how juicy it is. Opas. Beautiful, magnificent. So we'll have one there, and with this one here, let's just cut it up and have a look inside and see what it looks like. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful spinach. And there we go. So we'll put that just like that on the plate as well. And this one here, we'll serve it like that. And we'll put some beautiful salad on the side just like this i need a bit more room so i'll put this underneath just like this oh, there we go and we'll have another bit of play here with our serving look at that beautiful spinach there this beautiful chicken on top and here we have it some beautiful salad all the way around the front and the back as well enjoy the beautiful salad there we have it that should be enough so there we have it we have a beautiful free range breast fillet stuffed with spinach and feta with rigani on top and of course kept the skin on for that extra flavor and taste and complements it with a beautiful greek style tomato and cucumber salad all cooked on the crossroad barbecue by jack the greek in around 15 minutes Bye bye